Welcome back to ETV. Hey, coming up on October 22nd is the Food Allergy Walk, also known as the Fan Walk. And to give us a little bit more detail on that is Kelly Fletcher. Kelly, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Now, tell us a little bit about the walk first, and then I want to find out a little bit more about food allergies. Sure. It's the Fan Walk for Food Allergy. Fan stands for Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network. Wow. Yes, it's a... Mouthful. That's why we call it the Fan Walk. For sure. It's on October 22nd mm -hmm. at Veterans Memorial Park. Registration starts at 9. The walk starts at 10. People can pre-register online at foodallergywalk.org. In addition to the walk, we're going to have games, activities, a bounce house, music, prize drawings. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, great. It's so all it's a, a big family you know, event as well then. Absolutely. It's free to register, free to participate. So we're really excited for the day. That sounds great. Now, let's talk about food allergies. How prevalent are food allergies? Food allergies are very prevalent, and in fact, the number of food allergies are actually growing. Right now, there are 15 million Americans who have food allergies, and that includes 6 million children. Wow. Now, exactly what are the impacts of people that have food allergies? What are they facing? Food allergies require constant management, constant vigilance, because you never know when you might be exposed to the food that you're allergic to. Allergic reactions can have a huge range um, and can actually be life-threatening, requiring people to carry emergency medication. And there is no known cure for food allergies, so that's why research, education, and awareness is so important to us. And is that pretty much the reason behind the walk itself is for awareness? Absolutely. It's a community event. We want as many people to come out as can, people who know people with food allergies, people who have food allergies, people who support and people who want to learn more. We will have a food allergy and anaphylaxis network table at the walk as well as um, healthcare professionals who will be there to answer questions. Oh, that's great. Now, is there also a fundraising side to the walk? There is a fundraising sign. Going online can give you more information about how to help fundraise. We will also be accepting donations at the walk and all those funds raised will go to FAN and um, support their programs for education research, awareness, and advocacy for people who are impacted by food allergies. That's great. Now, if people wanted to actually go on the walk, do they need to get the sponsorships behind it, or can they just show up? They can just show up. That's awesome. But yeah. it's a good idea for them to pre-register? Yeah, that'll save some time on walk day. That sounds great. And then give us the uh, website again. Sure. Registering is foodallergywalk, all one word, dot org. Okay. And it's going on October 22nd at Veterans Memorial Park. Uh, registration's at 9, and the walk starts at 10. That's Sounds right. great. Well, we wish you all the best with that. Thank you very and, much. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.